Hey, it's Crafty Kitty, and I'm here to share a Dollar Tree Dollarama haul and maybe um, a Michaels. I'm not sure. I can't remember if I'm going to show it to you or not or if I'm going to keep it for another day. Um, something in my eye. So hopefully this all goes good and I can show you everything. I'm trying to film a without holding the camera and hopefully it doesn't fall from where it is. So let's just... Let's just get started and hopefully we can get this all done with. So, um, from the Dollar Tree, I found these little um, grass rocks. Well, not rocks, but you know, little turkey things that you get at Michael's that'll cost you an arm and a leg. So I got those. I actually got three bags of those. Um, also from the Dollar Tree for my daughter's birthday. She's going to be 16 this year. So we're doing a movie theme. I found these awesome cups. Um, so yeah, we might put um, popcorn or something inside there. I haven't decided yet. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, from Also from the Dollar Tree, we picked up this book. It's this Indian country, American Indian activist in the place they made by Frederick Holtzi. So my daughter really wanted to read this, so I said, okay. Um, now these are some Valentine's things that I found at the last minute, and, uh, I don't really care if they're Valentine's or not, to tell you the truth. Um, it's just this sign that says love, and I got two of these follow your heart signs. I like the way they look. They look like they're, you know, made from, um, what are those called? Palettes. So, I have those. Um, I have some more stuff from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to bend down here and grab it. And, oopsie. Sorry. As you can tell from the back room, no, I have not cleaned up the disaster area. <laughs> it's still there. So. so, also, from the Dollar Tree, I picked up these golden eggs and they have like a greenish tint to them and then I picked up a slightly bigger egg this one has like five in the pack or four sorry four in the pack this one has five in the pack and they're blue and I see they had something similar to this at Michael's and you know they're big eggs and of course you know Michael's is gonna cost like you know, my favorite thing, an arm and a leg. And uh, I just can't spare that right now. So I'm going to keep my arm and leg. I bought these green flowers. Two bunches. Uh, well, that's where those went to. I bought some garbage bags. Not so exciting, but I was looking for them. Couldn't figure out what I did with them. Uh, what I found I really thought was cool at the Dollar Tree was these plates these star plates so I think they'll look really cool um, might pick up a few more packs of these just so I can use them as decorations and use them as a star background kind of thing so I also found these silver liners for cupcakes at the Dollar Tree be using those for her party and the other thing I found were these straws I love paper straws you know and these ones actually match those little cups um, I couldn't find black ones with the straw, with of uh, straws with the stars. So we'll just work with what we got. So that was that bag. Um, ooh, that's, ooh, that's Michaels. Hmm. That's it for the Dollar Tree, I believe. Sorry, out of camera, as usual. I'll put that down there. Maybe I will share my Michaels stuff with you. So I got. And you probably saw these in my Easter decor video for Michaels. Um, I'll link uh, the video to that down there. I got this little guy. He's so cute. Um, he was a dollar ninety-nine, which is not too bad for Michaels, considering you know, like, sometimes these things are a lot more expensive. I got a green, a green guy. So this guy's like a minty green. This guy's like a more of a mossy green. I got those. Oh, and my daughter wanted this. And of course she forgot about it. So that's why it's here still in the bag. Oh, I have one more of the 
aqua color minty green rabbits. I was going to get another one for the purple, I think, because uh, I kind of like the purple too, but I'm not sure. I do have a DIY that is coming up. It's um, with the two youths transplanted. They're doing an Easter collab. Um, I will link that video in inviting people to join their Easter collab. Um, so I'll stick that in there if you like it. It's fantastic. I love doing collabs, so this is great. Um, when my mom was down, we bought these eggs. I got I bought the green ones, and these were well in Canada, seven ninety nine. But I had a forty fifty percent off coupon that day, so I got the green ones. And my mummy bought me the orangey kind of peachy colored eggs with the gold flecks and stuff. So, and those were fifty percent off as well. Now the other thing that I had. We had gotten, my mom got these too at the same time, I thought. I had watched a video where somebody was, and I can't remember who it was, but um, I'll look back because I, I think I liked it, so I'll have to check it out to see who it was. Anyways, I bought these, the pearls. So the, the lilac, the peach, the aqua, the pink, pale pink, and the minty green. Now you'll see the green is already open and I had started a DIY with it and um, I hadn't quite finished it yet so uh, give me a sec I'm trying to yep I need that piece okay so I did a DIY and I well I started a DIY I haven't finished it yet but I'll give you a little sneak peek this is an egg that I got from Dollarama and it's plastic. And what I did was I took those um, pearls and just, because they have tape on them, I just used it and stuck it down. But I had also bought a styrofoam egg and I started doing this one. And I found that the plastic egg worked a lot better than the styrofoam egg. I mean, I'm going to finish this one obviously, but I just wanted to see the difference there kind of they both came from Dollarama so I'll be showing you those in a minute um, but yes I will be continuing my DIY for that so that was a little hint as to what's coming um, so from Dollarama I got these these are so cute I just it's little carrots and they're all glittery and the little the little tops are plastic and this is two dollars I just I just love those. And then I got these from the Dollarama, which are little clips. You're supposed to clip them in your hair. But of course, I'm not going to do that. I have something else in my. Now, these are the plastic eggs that I used. And I just think they're really cool. Like, see? So you can paint these as well if you want. But I think I'm just going to use them the way I liked. And they came in a pack of a dozen, and they were. Two dollars, I think, but I'm not sure. I'd have to double check that out. Um, the other thing I found was this, which is cork ribbon. Uh, my mom really liked it, and she she bought herself some, but she also bought me a couple rolls. Um, the other thing I got was this, which is the green moss, but it's more like um, laid flat in a blanket kind of thing. So. I really like that because that would be great for decorating a basket rather than having clumps of just moss like you got from I had from the Dollar Tree last year. This lays out like it seems like it lays out in a little bit of a flat blanket if you pull it out just correctly out of the bag. Um, that was three dollars. The other thing I got was more of the glitter. Um, rhinestone mesh and these were two dollars each i got two of them um i really like the gold now the silver i had used in my other diys was not from the dollar tree that came from i believe michael's uh and it cost a pretty penny um not an ugly penny but a pretty penny anyways so um that was the other one of the things and then i got these these are so cute they're like some of these are just paper this one is more of a poxy an epoxy um, resin egg. It's just really cute. I'm trying not to get a glare, but I just want you to see the colors. It's very, very nice. I got two of these, and these were like a dollar each. 
Um, the other thing I bought, because again, I have another DIY in mind, was these bells. I like the colors, the blue bell, the little pink bell, the purple bells. Um, I probably won't end up using this part unless I decide what I can do with it. I really just wanted the bells. So, and also to go with that is I bought the blue ribbons, or sorry, not ribbons, blue bows, blue sparkly bows. Um, I bought the purple sparkly bows or lilac, whatever you want to call it, lavender and pink. Um, the other things I got, oh, my mommy bought me these. These are from Dollarama, um, really gold paper clips. And these are extremely shiny pa paper, um, small binder clips. I knew I would figure this out if I read the box, actually. Hey? Anyways, Michael's had something similar to this and they were $1.50, but you got like hardly any. This has 10 pieces, I'm not sure. And the other ones from Michael's were a little bit smaller. But I got these because my mommy likes to spoil me. And she's gone home and left me now. I'm all alone. No, I'm not really all alone. And of course, I bought more scissors because I can never find my scissors, which is as soon as I pulled these out, I turned around and bam, there's my scissors back there sticking out of the thumb. Now, these really cute as well. I have, you notice when I decorate my buffet in my dining room, I have um, little crates that I use to elevate stuff. Well, at, at Dollarama, I found two actually little square boxes, and they were $2 each. And I, I think these are going to come in handy. I was trying to find a couple more, but I haven't seen any since. So I'm just like, wow. Good thing I bought these two when I had a chance. So that was, that was that. Oh, I have one more bag from Michael's to show you. Do you think you're safe to get out of the water? I pull you back in. Um, this was actually bought uh, at, clearance, at the clearance from Michael's. So I got these. Peppermint twist. Sorry, I'm trying to just show you that you can put inside your hot chocolates. I got three of those. And they were... Oh, that's Walmart. That was from Wally World. <laughs> um, oh, the other thing I got from Michael's were these. And it was the molds to make the mustaches. Chocolate mustaches. They only got three inside each mold, so I really didn't you know, want to wait forever to do these uh, three at a time. That'd be crazy. So I bought three. I got the letter I. And it's I again. And I, the reason I bought the I's is because I always find that at Michael's, I can never find I's. They're always, I get all the other vowels and there's no I ever. I, it just drives me up the wall. So I picked them up because why not? They were there. And these are what I got. I'm happy. Ta-da! Look at him. Oh. Oh, well. <gasps> he got blinded. I bet you any money it's inside this bag and I'll just glue it back on. But right now, well, let's just show that profile and this profile. Woo! How are you? I am fine. Oh, okay. We won't play the game. Anyways, we're going to put these over here. Another way. And let's see. I have my bill, actually. How amazing is that? So, I paid $1.79 for those little stir, stir sticky things. Uh, and the molds were each $0.59. Cents. So, excellent deal because in Canada, I believe they were $2.99 um, for each mold. Uh, the gold letters they and the silver letter were $0.50 cents each. And the little, my little... Uh, polar bear guys were a dollar thirty nine, and then I have two other things in here that I thought were cute. I have these Heidi Swap um, Heidi Swap icons. So this is them on the back, and if you remember, I have um, my husband got me some 
uh, exit signs that I can use and put plexiglass in in order to make marquee signs. And this was the other thing. And it says, "'Twas the night before Christmas." And it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna eventually use that in some DIY or make, oopsie, that. Okay, it doesn't wanna do what I wanted to do. Sorry, didn't wanna put my head there. And those were each $1.19. So that, I believe, is all that I have to show you, I think. <laughs> but you never know. I'm just going to pause for one second and I'll be right back. So, yep, that's all that I have to show you. Um, say hello to my Koya baby. This is my other baby, my other rescue baby. She's a mini dachshund. She's my rid, and she's always, she wants to be picked up right now and be loved. So I did. Um, yep, that's all I had to show you. And uh, like I said, I will link the video to the Two Utes Easter collab. And I, it's a lot of fun to work with those ladies. They are fantastic. Um, so on the other side of something, I just have a slight rant to share with you when it comes to DIYs. Um, I love doing DIYs, you know that, you've seen from what I've created and stuff. Um, my pet peeve about certain things is when you create something and you share it on YouTube, it, that's, you know, that's what takes, some people, it takes a lot of courage to go and, you know, put yourself out there to show something. And yes, you may have seen something on YouTube, on Pinterest, um, somewhere, anywhere, you know, a craft show even, um, that somebody's made and and you go out and you make it now this hasn't happened to me it just happened to somebody that I subscribed to and I loved her idea that she did something I mean literally we all know that when we look for something on YouTube when you go down the side menu you can get 25 videos for the exact same thing now my pet peeve is when somebody creates something they share it with us through YouTube you know, gives you more ideas and maybe a different way on how you've done something. Um, you know, like take the lantern box I made from my friend using Dollar Tree um, picture frames. Well, that's not a new concept, not for anybody. And, you know, uh, who's to say who actually came up with that? Before YouTube, somebody could have done that a long time ago. But just because somebody posted on there, somebody feels the need to comment on a video and say, you know, so-and-so did this. You should really give them the credit. I mean, they did it first. And I'm, I'm like, that's not really correct because just because somebody's done it doesn't mean they were the first one to do it or they were the ones that, um, you know, created this idea. I mean, you just have to look down the side menu to see that there are hundreds of people who are doing the same darn thing. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm just saying that, you know, when somebody shares something with you, you don't have to scold them or try to shame them into giving credit to somebody that perhaps they don't even watch, you know, like this person didn't even know who the person was they were talking about because she's not subscribed to them. She doesn't, she didn't watch their videos. She's like, oh, well, I'll go check it out. But I mean, she shouldn't have been shamed to go and look at something. I just find that's extremely rude. If, you know, if you can't make a nice comment on somebody's video, just pass it by, you know, it's, <laughs> there's no guarantee that the person you're saying created it was the person who created it. That's just my little rant. So all I say is that everybody create what they want. Everything is always different. It's never the same exactly. I mean, if I took something from somebody and I can figure out who it was. I mean, I watch a lot of videos, you know, I get ideas, I mix up two ideas, three ideas, come up with something, you know, but if I remember who it is and I'm copying verbatim everything they've done, then I'll probably mention their name and say, yes, there is. But if most of the time it's just me sitting here going, what can I do as I walk through a dollar store or something or a thrift store and I say, Hey, I can change that up. You know, I wasn't the first person to spray paint a cake plate, obviously. So I'm not going to say somebody who's done it has to tell me, has to quote my name on something. That would be ridiculous in my opinion. But, um, so yeah. So that is just my little pet peeve uh, about people trying to shame people into giving credit for something they've created. 
and might not ha never have seen this person's video. So all I'm saying is let's be nice to each other out there in YouTube land. And yeah, so I'm all finished my little rant and hope to see you in my next video. I'll have a thrift haul for you. I have a shout out for some of my favorite channels that I love to watch and also the DIY collab that's coming up for Easter. So thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to leave a nasty comment, that's your choice in the matter. I can't stop you. But um, all I can say is, let's all get crafty. Have a great day. Bye.